Hey admins, welcome back to this month's edition of What's New for G Suite Admins. Shoshana here, and I'm excited to share with you the feature updates from the month of May. Let's get started. Here's the headline news from the month of May. Back in March 2017, we announced Hangouts Meet, the next generation in enterprise video meetings. After continued positive feedback, we've enabled Hangouts Meet for all G Suite domains that are automatically upgrading on G Suite's recommended schedule. This means that all newly created calendar events will contain Meet video meeting details. To ensure your domain has a seamless transition to Meet, We've added Meet compatibility with Firefox, starting on version 60. Unlike in classic Hangouts, Meet uses native WebRTC protocols so that it does not require any downloads or plugins when using Meet in Firefox. If at any time you decide you want your users to schedule new meetings with classic Hangouts instead of Meet during this transition period, you can do so in the admin console under Apps, G Suite, Google Hangouts, Meet Settings, and unselecting new meeting experience. And now let's take a look at our admin updates. This past March, we announced several new features to help G Suite customers stay secure. Among those were new controls to help users safeguard highly sensitive content in team drives. Specific updates include the ability to modify settings for team drives to limit file access privileges to team drive members or only to users within your domain, and add IRM controls to prevent users from printing, downloading, and copying files within Team Drives. Admins can now set the default access for newly created Team Drives in their domain or in individual organizational units to help protect sensitive information across their organizations. From the homepage, click Apps, G Suite, Docs and Drive, Click Sharing Settings on the top and scroll down to Team Drive Creation. None of these protections will be turned on by default, but can be set to prevent the following. Users in your organization from creating new Team Drives, full access members from modifying your Team Drive settings, people outside of your domain from accessing files in the Team Drive, non-members from accessing files in the Team Drive, and commenters and viewers from downloading, copying, and printing files in the Team Drive. For more information on selecting these default settings in the Admin Console, visit the Help Center. Admin Quarantine helps your organization prevent spam, minimize data loss, and protect confidential information. You can set up and manage quarantine policies to divert emails that pose a risk before they're sent or delivered. You can then review these emails and take appropriate action to protect your organization and its data. We're now making it easier to see why emails have been quarantined directly in the admin quarantine interface. This information will make it quicker to review emails and easier to identify the right action. Admins will be able to see the specific rule that was triggered to cause the email to enter admin quarantine and the matched content when appropriate. For more information, check out the Help Center. In April, we introduced the new Gmail, including the Confidential Mode feature, which helps you protect sensitive content in your emails by setting expiration dates or revoking access to the previously sent emails. The feature is only available for consumer Gmail users at this time, but will launch to G Suite users at a later time. As an admin, you can create compliance rules to handle confidential mode messages sent from consumer users to G Suite users in your domain. Let's take a look in the admin panel. From the homepage, click Apps, G Suite, Gmail, scroll down to Advanced Settings, and then scroll down to the Compliance section to find the Content Compliance setting. Hover over the setting and click Edit or Configure. Click Add in the Expressions box. Click on the drop-down box and select Metadata Match. Lastly, click on the Attribute drop-down to select Gmail Confidential Mode. For more info, check out the Help Center. We built Calendar Interop to enable user availability lookups between Google Calendar and Microsoft Exchange. To help improve the security of coexistent setups, Calendar Interop will now use a restricted set of known IP addresses to communicate with Exchange servers. By restricting Calendar Interop to this set of known IP addresses, 
you can now block all incoming traffic, like setting up a firewall on your on-premise Exchange servers, with the exception for a request originating from Calendar Interop. To see the list of IPv4 and IPv6 addresses that belong to Calendar Interop, check out the Help Center. When changes are made within Google Calendar, it's important that the available audit logs in the admin console have the information you need to understand what happened. To help you better investigate situations like these, we've added new information to the audit logs, including the address of the email sender, the ID of the message that you can use in Gmail audit logs for further investigation, the third-party system that sent the message, for example, Microsoft Exchange Server 2013, and the email recipient. You can view these audit logs in the admin console under Reports and Calendar. We removed some drive metrics from the admin console reports API starting on May 29, 2018. Specifically, we are removing absolute count metrics, which have been replaced by activity-based metrics. This was announced a year ago, and the admin console user interface was updated in October. These old metrics will no longer be available through the reports API. You can use Google Mobile Management to give your users secure access to work apps and data on their mobile devices. By setting up work profiles, employees can use their phones for both work and personal purposes. One way to guarantee security and protect corporate data is through making sure managed devices have a password. With this launch, you'll be able to mandate a password policy on just the apps within these work profiles, protecting your organization's data. In the admin console, you can require your users to set up a password on any managed device and specify certain requirements for that password. This password policy will apply to all managed devices in your domain. From the homepage, click Device Management and then click Password Settings on the left. Here, you can require your users to set up a password and set the password strength criteria. If you want to apply that password policy to work profiles only, navigate back to the Device Management screen. Click on the Android settings on the left and then click Work Profile. Under Work Profile, check the box next to Apply Password Settings Only for the Work Profile. This will apply the password policy to work profiles only on devices running Android 7.0 or higher. On all other managed devices in the domain, the password policy will be applied to the entire device. For more information, visit the Help Center. Some apps designed for enterprise include built-in settings called managed configurations that admins can set up remotely. These managed configurations save admins valuable time and allow you to easily deploy otherwise complex settings arrangements your users need most with the built-in settings that work best for your organization. We're now making it possible to set up managed configurations for Android apps using advanced mobile device management from Google Mobile Management. To learn more, check out the Help Center. We're introducing Data Export, a new feature that makes it easier to export and download a copy of your data securely from our G Suite services. Data from G Suite core services, like Gmail, Google Contacts, and Google Docs, can be exported for all the users in your organization. The data export features enforces strict security controls so that it can only be initiated by super admins using two-step verification, and when data export is initiated, other admins will be notified. You can initiate the process in the admin console by navigating to the Tools section on the right side slide-out menu and selecting Data Export. To control the flow of information across your organization, you often need increased visibility into new Google Sites being created by your users. To help you do this, we're adding a feature in the new Google Sites that'll make it easier for you to get additional information about individual sites. If you have the appropriate permissions as an admin, you'll see a Sites Detail button in the footer when browsing a site. This will enable you to see the site owner's email address, the date the site was published, and an option to request edit access. Super admins and any other admins with the view details of new Google Sites privilege will be able to see the site details link in the site footer. Your users can sign in just one time to access all of their enterprise cloud applications with single sign-on or SSO. For the month of May, 
we're adding an additional 12 applications with pre-integrated SSO support to our third-party apps catalog, including Bright Cove, Hootsuite, Mango Apps, and Text Magic, just to name a few. You can find our full list of pre-integrated applications and instructions for installing them in the Help Center. With user provisioning, once you've set up SAML integrated apps, you can set up user provisioning to create, modify, or delete a user's identity in G Suite, and those changes are automatically made in the third-party app. This month, we're adding auto-provisioning support for six new apps, Desk Pro, Federated Directory, Front App, Screen Steps, Thousand Eyes, and Trello. The setup and configuration of user provisioning varies from app to app, so check out the Help Center to learn more. Well, that's it for May's updates. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and to save the playlists. You can also check out our G Suite release calendar and What's New newsletter to stay informed, and follow the links in the video description to learn more about these updates. This has been Shoshana with What's New for G Suite Admins, May edition. Thanks for watching.